So uh, first you need to access this link to get crash hit and click here at release find X and you download the latest version, craft it somewhere. Also you need this one. It says for crash two but it works with crash three two so it doesn't has any releases so just go to here and click download zip and download it. Okay. After that, go to this link and search for which crash version to find the level. For this tutorial, I will extract a Commodore Bros. model, so it's 08. I will open Crash Edit and click Open. These are the Crash Q extracted easel files. You can use a program called Power Easel to extract them. So after that, I'll search for the 08 file, which is here, set the crash version, in my case it's 2. After that, uh, on those chunks, I have to find an animation, okay. as you can see here, it shows the animations. And you click open here, click frame, you can see frame, right? We need to discover which module belongs to this animation. So for that, I click here on the one animation that I want to get a frame and click the process entry. After that, I click on the first frame. As you can see, it's a bunch of uh, hexadecimal numbers. Click on the first one and press Z. As you can see here, it's a CRMG, which is the model name here I need to find so you can type it here and G it's here on it so after that you click the process entry okay. uh, normally you will find uh, five to six items so you go to first one click export and go to the crash uh, extractor okay create a folder I'll, I'll name it crash you can name it whatever you like so this part is important the names must follow by zero for example you need to be exactly this way you go second Item one, item two, item three, item four, item five. Now that we get the model, I need to get the animation, which is this one. If I Process this entry again. You can see the crash animation. Um, process set. Yes, it's this one. Okay. So for this one, I just need to get the first frame, which is the model I want from the first frame. So I click export. And then name this one different. I'll name it with the name frame. You must follow this exact names, okay? Click save. So after that, we go to the model extractor and click here. Open. Okay, now I need to type the folder name for the model, which is Crash. This is the version, okay? In my case, it's 2. If you are doing Crash Warp, it must type 3. Okay. And wait. Okay. Uh, now that it has opened, you type F1 here. You type F1. You can see that export to PLY. Just need to type enter. So, type enter. 
and finding it will be crash model or whatever you want to say to wait for the textures here yeah, wait it's uh, loading Take a little further time. Okay, so after that, you can see that the texture file and the PLY mode will be here. And it's PLY. Editor of preference, in my case it's Splendor. I just reside the window here. You can see my port Y. And go to the crash model export crash crash model PLY and let me share this here. Yeah. As you can see, it's here. Um, make sure it's okay. So let's see it will work. Let me try again. In general, file import the file crash. I think I must set the shading stuff here. Um, desktop, first to file, no, export, crash, crash module, base color. case it's it's this way because it has some texture and it has some text to colors too let me see here but it's this i think it's this for this tutorial okay so thanks for watching and bye